Hey guys, it's Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It's your Mayhem Minute. Please uh, take a moment, if you can, uh, check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com, who's been supporting us for well over a year now. And of course, uh, IndieWrestling.us for some of the finest in independent pro wrestling from uh, Pittsburgh here in the area. Some stuff that we're producing here with Sorgatron Media and so much more. Uh, just coming out uh, this week. Uh, we should be up here, uh, hopefully today, uh, the best of Gregory Iron, you know, CM Punk improved. That guy is, uh, going to be over there. IndieWrestling.us. Check it out under the prime cuts and prime wrestling, uh, section of the site. So, uh, today I want to touch base. I was looking at this story, uh, from over at WrestleZone, uh, backstage news. You know how I feel about the backstage news stuff. We were talking about this a little bit this week on the main wrestling mayhem show, um, on how SmackDown, the SmackDown move to USA might impact the, uh, WWE storylines, expectations for it, ratings and more. So I guess they, uh, according to this, uh, the word on the street, and, you know, when I hear backstage, backstage news, this is like, I heard this from a friend, from a friend, from a friend. Um, of somebody who was probably the guy that rigs the lights uh, that overheard Vince McMahon talking about this or, or somebody else or who had talked to Vince McMahon. Like, in my mind, this is how this works. And I'd love to talk to, uh, I should probably, uh, uh, I, you know what, I think I might ask Justin Labar at the uh, Meadville show this weekend uh, with IWC how that exactly works when I hear those phrases. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it maybe even give a little more credence to that. But anyways, other than that, so, so SmackDown already moved to Thursday. Apparently, according to this article, uh, the ratings hike has not been what they wanted out of that. Um, I guess they were worried about competing with Impact Wrestling on Destination America? Sure. Uh, so there's that. But I guess with the moving the USA and being on the same channel, I guess uh, it, it sounds like it's not going to be treated so much as a B show. And they'll have intertwining storylines. I mean, for right now, I, you guys know this. If you don't watch SmackDown, and a lot of you guys don't watch SmackDown, you're not missing anything. You don't see replays typically too often on WWE Raw from SmackDown, right? Uh, whereas back in the day, we used to have, uh, you know, this is when SmackDown first started. And they really wanted people, hey, guys, go to SmackDown, you know. Go find some channel on your dial called UPN that you've never heard of. And maybe half of you don't even get it, uh, that was, which was my case for the longest time. I couldn't watch SmackDown. Um and, uh, and it was intertwining, and you did miss half of the story for the week for a lot of cases. Now, I enjoy SmackDown. I watched it on Saturday morning. It's no stress. I'm not all over social media with it, with the Wrestling Mayhem Show account, uh, so I'm not engaged in that discussion so much. It's not live, so I don't feel like I need to right away there on, on, on Thursday, Friday night, whenever it was. Uh, and, and it's a very nice no-impact uh, <laughs> uh, wrestling uh, watching for me. Uh, but I do enjoy this idea about, you know, hey, maybe you should check it out because there is some intertwining stuff. And, and they do kind of give some other people a chance. Like, the stories, the storylines and everything have been very much Roman Reigns and and uh, and Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose really kind of rolling that show, right? Uh, you don't see John Cena so much anymore. And maybe that'll be the difference. Maybe you will see more Ortons and, and uh, John Cena's and all these other, maybe a Brock Lesnar here and there. Uh, if they're taking this other fame. But this is always the case. They always say it's not going to be the B show and they do some stuff. John Cena's on SmackDown because this is definitely the B show. And they make a big deal about it. Or when CM Punk was a champion, he was never on SmackDown. And, uh, and it just fades away usually. You know, Main Event had some really good matches when it first started. Really good matches. I really enjoyed that show and what they were doing with it. Now it's just another Superstars. I never hear about anything that I should be checking out on main event. But uh, there you have it. And actually, I think anybody who's a big WWE fan um, and is wondering where the hell is such and such, I think it is worth checking out because you do see a lot of the Divas on there get some more time uh, you know, before the latest give Divas a chance. And you know, the problem is you, know, you can watch it really quick because you skip all the Raw rebound stuff and there's like two or three matches and that's it. You can probably get that in in a half an hour if you're uh, trying to figure out where that fits in your in your watching day uh, for pro wrestling. So, uh, what do you think? What do you think about the SmackDown move to USA? Is it going to make any difference? Um, USA is really making some interesting moves. I was talking with a friend about how they went all dramas uh, on their on their slate for this season. So, uh, what do you think about that? And uh, are, are you watching SmackDown currently, or are you going to maybe check it out if they make some changes here? What changes do they need to make? 
for you to be watching. All that more, please let me know uh, comments on this video at, uh, at Mayhem Show, at Sorgatron on Twitter, and of course the post over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please go over there, subscribe to all of our shows, check out all the stuff going on. Uh, great talks this week, Evangelistico. Previously was on Indie Mayhem Show telling us about why Jeff Jerk was a dick. Uh, just really kind of catching up with him this week. Sarah Feeney joining us to talk about uh, AJ Lee's retirement as a women wrestler herself. Uh, her opinions on that. Go check out that on Wrestling Mayhem Show 464, Indie Mayhem Show 64 for Evangelistic to go, and everything else. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.